So this demo looks at a new feature in Adaptable. Um, it's called the no-code version. And as it implies, it allows you to create an instance of Adaptable without needing any code at all. It's here on our demo site at uh, demo.adaptabletools.com and you just click on no code in the admin section. And the way no code works is you give Adaptable either an Excel or a JSON file or a CSV file. It will work out, as we'll see, what the columns are, um, what your types are. You can pass in your own options and then you get a grid just as you would if you're, if you're a developer and you create it yourself or if you're a user and the developer gives it to you. But this way, it's completely out of the box and it's all saved. So um, easier to show you. So let's, let's do that now. So you um, basically you come here and you just click on this and that allows you to load either an Excel or a JSON file. So here are some, um, some these are the Excel and JSON files that we use for our um, demo site. So let's get back into data sets. Let's start with an Excel file and let's go to world stats. This opens the Excel file. And as you can see, the wizard then comes in. It gives it an Apple ID. It gives it an adaptable ID name. We'll change this. We'll call it world stats. And it looks at all the columns and it guesses for each one what the type is so you can change it if you think it's wrong you can change it to something else it tries to work out what it thinks is unique usually the first one which in this case is correct and then for every column you can say whether they are in all or individually sortable editable resizable groupable or filterable um, there's then another section which you can go into which you can then have a whole load of more properties we'll look at that in a minute or you can just click straight to finish and then as you can see it now creates an adaptable. Let's close that so we can see more on the screen. And it's a completely normal adaptable with all the data that we've just passed in. Um, and you can use it just as you would anyway. So we can say any country, any region which starts with E, anywhere which has a density of, say, more than 100. Um, and you can do all the usual adaptable things. So let's configure the dashboard. Let's, for instance, add a theme. Let's close that. And in fact, let's make it the dark theme and everything still works but what's really nice is if i now were to refresh this page so let me refresh that we now come back to the no code version we now load it up again let's go back to where we were so let's load up this it could be a different data set of the same name so if you've got live data or streaming data or market data etc that changes every day but you always want to call it the same then you'll see now if we put world stats in here and we go to finish it remembers it remembered our filters it remembered that we had region starts with a density of 100 you can see they're here and obviously it remembered the dark theme so um, that's with an Excel file and it's exactly the same with JSON so let's look at that now come back in this time let's look at a JSON file so we'll look at the north wind orders this is what we use for most of the demos in our demo site and again it's loaded it up it's guessed it's given it the name of the demo again you this that's the adaptable id you can change it there's a lot of columns here it's worked out their types it knows if they're dates if they're numbers etc etc um, and as i say there's lots of options you can change so for instance i don't know what should we change auto apply filter yeah let's let's have that let's turn that off so rather than applying a filter immediately you have to have a button to do it um, and uh, I don't know let's say we're not going to show the quick filter so you can there's lots more options you can choose from we finish there it now creates an adaptable again it finds all the data it puts it all in for you but um, as we recall we turned off auto apply filter so let's see how that works so now um, if I go into employee and I filter on it I no longer it doesn't happen immediately I do Anne I do Laura and I do Michael and only now when I do apply filter does it work so that's the no code version it looks very simple but it's unbelievably powerful particularly at the moment where people are working from home where they're being sent lots of spreadsheets it's much harder um, to manage systems than it is when everyone's in the office the beauty of no code is that you can upload a spreadsheet and because you can put it onto your system which is then and now in a web browser and easily shareable it's a great way for people to be able to share data with colleagues in a way that's very very hard with standalone excel um, and we have a lot of users who are now using it for that reason um, where everyone's working remotely you essentially have 
one instance of Adaptable called the no-code version and then people can upload spreadsheets, upload whatever they want and everybody can immediately see it. Any changes anybody makes is um, viewable by everyone. So that's the Adaptable no-code version. Really, really excited by it. One of those functions which we think um, the full value of it will only become more apparent as more and more people use it. So please get in touch if you want to find out more. And as ever, thank you for watching.